Now, the inauguration of President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris was a monumental moment for so many reasons, but it carries special weight for black women in politics. NBC4's Beverly White spoke to a Los Angeles political pioneer, Yvonne Braithwaite Burke, about the significance of the vice president's new role. I was so very proud. And I can't tell you, I really believed I'd ever see the day. Former U.S. Congresswoman Yvonne Brathwaite Burke says she wept as Kamala Harris ascended to the second highest office in the land. She is a very, very intelligent woman and very personable. The Congresswoman sharing memories of her friend after watching the inauguration from L.A. I met her at the first inauguration of Obama at a social event. And I was so impressed and excited. I said, she was running for attorney general. I said, of course, count me in. Like many black women, Burke wore pearls to honor her Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority sister, whose path to the vice presidency, she says, was no crystal stare. It looks like she's just had such a smooth way up the political ladder. It hasn't been that smooth. Uh, she's had close calls. And she is very appreciative, and she reaches out to people. Yvonne Brethwaite Burke knows politics, elected to California's Assembly and then the U.S. House of Representatives, where she made history as the first Congress member to give birth while in office, and history again as the first black woman elected to L.A. County's Board of Supervisors. We asked what's next for the history-making vice president. We have to recognize that she is not president, she's vice president. And she cannot go out on her own and take positions that would be contrary to the president. And I think she knows that. Yvonne Brethwaite Burke is certain the new VP is ready for tough days and hard feelings to come. She's going to have to deal with some of those people who are not necessarily happy to see her there. So she's not going to have all roses. But the important thing is she's there and they're going to have to deal with it. In Los Angeles, Beverly White, NBC4 News.